Paraguay is one of the few countries in Latin America that has maintained an integrated public monopoly on electricity. Hydropower comprises nearly 100% of electricity in Paraguay, 90% of generated energy is exported, with neighboring Argentina and Brazil receiving the majority. Paraguay is one of the world's largest electricity net exporters because of the dominance of hydroelectricity. Tariffs mostly residential are remarkably below the averages for the region. However, despite the abundance of resources, the Paraguayan electricity system faces difficulty due to the lack of investment in transmission and distribution networks. In addition, distribution losses are among the highest in the region. Topic: Electricity supply and demand. Topic: Installed capacity and generation. Paraguay is the only country in Latin America with almost 100% hydroelectric generation capacity 8116 megawatts in 2005. Paraguay operates two binational hydroelectric dams. Itaipu Dam, by far the largest power station in the country, is operated with Brazil and has an installed capacity of 7000 megawatts, 86% of Paraguay's generation capacity. Yacirita, the second largest hydroelectric facility, has an installed capacity of 900 megawatts, 11%, and is operated with Argentina. A third plant, Acre, has an installed capacity of 210 megawatts, 3%. Thermal plants contribute less than 0.1%. All of Paraguay's electricity for domestic consumption comes from a single facility, the Binational 14 GW Itaipu Hydroelectric Dam. Source ESMAP, 2006. Installed capacity shown for Itaipu and Yacirita refers only to the Paraguayan share in these plants. While total generation amounted to 51.17 terawatt hours in 2005, consumption was only 5.01 terawatt hours, with exports as high as 43.8 terawatt hours. Topic: <laughs> Demand. In 2005, total electricity consumed in Paraguay was 5.01 terawatt-hours, which corresponds to 849 kilowatt-hours per capita. Electricity generated by Itaipu and Acre, located in the east of the country, is transported to the west to the Asuncion area, where over 60% of the total national consumption is located. Electricity consumption by consumer group is divided as follows: residential, 41%; commercial, 18.3%; industrial, 26%. Others, 14.2% in 2004, the country consumed only 16% of its 50% share of Itaipu's production, exporting the rest to Brazil. As for Yacirita, Paraguay consumes less than 1% of its share, exporting the rest to Argentina. The electricity interconnections that allow power exchanges with Brazil and Argentina are Source, ESMAP, 2006 Topic. Access to electricity In 2005, almost 90% of the population in Paraguay had access to electricity, which is just slightly below than the 94.6% average for lack. The 2002 census revealed that 87% of the households without electricity were located in rural areas, where access was about 77%. Rural coverage varies considerably among the different regions of the country. It is lowest in the remote and sparsely populated Chaco, or western region. The table below shows rural coverage by department for 2002. See also, departments of Paraguay including a map 
Source: Pulfa, 2005. From 2002 Census. Since 2004, the National Electricity Administration ANDA has been carrying out a program to recover distribution works under the self-help system Sistema de Autoayuda, which aims at the regularization of all the low and medium voltage distribution networks. This program, with a 10-year time horizon, is implemented according to priorities defined by the conservation status of the networks involved. Under this program, installations that do not comply with current ANDE's rules are replaced. <inaudible> <inaudible> service quality Interruption frequency and duration In 2005, the average number of interruptions per subscriber was 16.4, while duration of interruptions per subscriber was 7.58 hours. While the number of interruptions is just slightly above than the weighted average for LAC, 13 interruptions, the duration is well below the weighted average of 14 hours. <laughs> Blackouts. Despite consuming less than 6 terawatt-hours per year and exporting close to 45 terawatt-hours per year, Paraguay faces blackouts as well as a serious risk of suffering an energy crisis. This is the result of the limitations of both the transmission and distribution systems. The ceiling of the system is placed by ANDEs at 1,700 megawatts, with demand above 1,500 megawatts in 2008. Transmission capacity is urgently needed to avoid a supply crisis in a system in which quality and an adequate technical service is practically non existent. Different authors believe that the price received for the electricity sold to Brazil from Paraguay's share in Itaipu and also to Argentina to some extent from its share in Yacirita is currently too low. The fair price established by the Itaipu Treaty was conceived on the basis of a compensation for concession of energy and not on the basis of a commercial exchange. This price has remained very low, about $2.81 per megawatt hour. It is argued that if this price was more in line with actual electricity prices in the Brazilian market, Paraguay would have enough resources to strengthen its electricity transmission capacity. Topic. Distribution and transmission losses In 2005, distribution losses in Paraguay were as high as 31%, well above the 13.5% weighted average for LAC and up from about 22% in 2001 system losses have become a serious problem in the last few years, having followed a continuous upward trend. The highest percentage of losses occurs in the National Interconnected System while the remaining corresponds to the bi-national enterprises. In the SIN, distribution losses represented 23% of the total in 2003, while transmission losses, according to ANDA, were 7.3%. ANDA has established a 23% target for electricity losses for the year 2010. Topic. Responsibilities in the electricity sector Responsibilities in the Paraguayan electricity sector are concentrated in a single, vertically integrated public monopoly, the National Electricity Administration Administration Nacional de Electricidad, ANDA. Topic. Policy and regulation Law 167 93 indicates that the Vice Ministry of Mines and Energy under the Ministry of Public Works and Communication is responsible for establishing and guiding energy policy, as well as for the study of the technical, economic, financial and legal aspects that promote energy use. 
However, the Vice Ministry does not have the adequate resources to effectively perform its functions. In practice, all the energy responsibilities are concentrated in ANDA, which is the de facto electricity regulator and provider. ANDA also elaborates the tariff structure, which is then analyzed and approved by the Economic Council of the Executive Power. The Council usually sets lower tariffs to the ones proposed by ANDA, which leads to a lack of resources for the necessary investment for adequate performance of the electricity system. <laughs> Generation, transmission and distribution ANDA controls the country's entire electricity market, including generation, transmission and distribution. ANDA operates only one hydroelectric dam, Akaray, and six thermal power plants, with total installed capacity of 220 MW. It is also responsible for Paraguay's share of Itaipu and Yasirita, the two bi-national hydroelectric facilities see bi-national facilities above. ANDA operates 2,100 miles of transmission lines in the interconnected national system, divided in six subsystems, and 670 miles of distribution lines. It is also responsible for all of the distribution, with two exceptions, CLYFSA Compagnia de las y Fuerza, SA, which has a concession to distribute and commercialize electricity in Villarica, and the Empresas Distributoras Menonitas del Charco Central. History of the electricity sector Topic: Hydroelectric plants. Topic: Itaipu Dam. In April 1973, the governments of Paraguay and Brazil signed the Itaipu Treaty, by which it was decided to create a binational entity to hydroelectric use of the Paraná River. This entity was constituted by ANDA Paraguay and ELECTROBRAS Brazil. $100 million were contributed in equal parts by both companies. <laughs> Yasirita Dam in December 1973, the governments of Argentina and Paraguay signed the Yasirita Treaty, by which ANDA and Agua y Energía constituted the binational entity, whose aim is the hydroelectric use of the Paraná River. $100 million was contributed in equal parts by each company. Corpus Christi. In 1971, Paraguay and Argentina created the River Paraná Joint Commission Comisión Mixta del Río Paraná, COMIP, which started to carry out different studies pre-feasibility, environmental, etc. for the Corpus project, to be located upstream of the Paraná River, close to the towns of Corpus in the Argentina Misana province and Puerta Bella Vista in Paraguay. In the mid-1980s, Argentina, Paraguay and Brazil signed a tripartite agreement that established the operating height of the project, which would allow to bring into line the operation of Corpus with those of Yasirita and Itaipu. The different alternatives for this project are still under study. As a large hydroelectric project, with installed capacity of about 3,000 MW and annual generation of about 19,000 gigawatt hours, Corpus is a controversial project that is opposed both at the regional and social levels. In April 1996, in a plebiscite in the Mizuna province, the construction of the dam was opposed by almost 89% of the voters. Topic. Tariffs and subsidies Tariffs 
In 2006, the average national tariff in Paraguay was $0.080 per kWh tariffs for the different consumer groups were Residential – $0.091 per kWh weighted average for LAC in 2005 to 0 0.105 Commercial – $0.090 per kWh Industrial – $0.056 per kWh weighted average for LAC in 2005 to 0 0.1075 General – $0.075 per kWh Others – $0.094 per kWh Topic. Subsidies In November 2004, the Paraguayan government approved Law 2501, which broadened the electricity social tariff applied by ANDA. The social tariff is applied to residential users below 150 kWh of monthly consumption. Currently, about 37% of total customers benefit from this tariff. ANDA estimates that this share will gradually increase to 56% of the total. Investment and financing Investments for maintenance and expansion of the necessary assets to provide electricity service have been executed with the support of multilateral credit institutions. Topic: <laughs> Summary of private participation in the electricity sector. The National Electricity Administration Administration Nacional de Electricidad, ANDA, Paraguay's state-owned utility, controls the country's entire electricity market, including generation, transmission and distribution. Two small companies buy electricity from ANDA and have concessions to distribute and sell it, CLYFSA Compania de las y Fuerza, SA in Villarica, and the Empresas Distribuidoras Menonitas del Charco Central. Topic. Electricity and the environment Topic. Responsibility for the environment The Environmental Directorate Secretaria del Ambiente, CIM, is the institution in charge of environmental issues in Paraguay, focusing on natural resources management and preservation. Topic. Greenhouse gas emissions Paraguay emitted 3.85 million tons of CO2 in 2005, which corresponds to just 0.61 tCO2 per capita annually, the lowest rate in the LAC region after Haiti's. Topic. CDM projects in electricity Currently, August 2008, there are no registered CDM projects in any sector in Paraguay. The low emission factor of a fully hydroelectric system is most likely the reason for the absence of this type of projects in the electricity sector. Topic: <laughs> External assistance. Inter-American Development Bank Currently, the Inter-American Development Bank is contributing funds and assistance to one project in the electricity sector in Paraguay. Phase 1 of a multi-phase power transmission program supported through a $69.5 million credit. 
The objective of this project, which was approved in December 2006 but has not disbursed any funds as of August 2008, is to strengthen transmission networks in already served areas as well as to extend them to areas still not being served. The IDB is also providing technical assistance under two activities Support for Paraguay's electrical sector modernization. The objective of this support is to execute studies that will formulate the fundamental and integrated actions, to increase the total loss management capacity of the ANDA in these categories, I management of loss, II prospection of losses, III regularization of systems and facilities, IV collection of the recovered revenue, and V loss prevention. Development of a national rural electrification program that will explore grid extension, renewable energy and natural gas solutions. See also Paraguay Economy of Paraguay Water supply and sanitation in Paraguay History of Paraguay Politics of Paraguay Topic Notes Topic Sources Casco Carreras, two thousand and eight Presente y futuro del sector energético nacional Centro de Análisis y Difusión de la Economía Paraguaya ESMAP, 2006. Estrategia para el desarrollo del sector eléctrico del Paraguay. Suárez Montorfano, 2007. El proyecto hidroeléctrico Corpus Christi. Topic: External links. National Electricity Administration and a Environmental Directorate Seem Ministry of Public Works and Communications Vice Ministry of Mines and Energy